Hey everybody, this is Robert Green back uh, from Battery Powered Games. I'm back after a long break that I don't really necessarily want to call a break because I've been crazy busy. I went to Google I.O., uh, was programming on the plane in hotels, uh, had to go to the opening of fishing in Minnesota. These are important things, a little father-son bonding time there. But anyway, so I'm back here with Project 7. Um, we are prototyping the game right now. If you can see in front of me, if you can read this code at all, uh, a lot has changed in the prototype, uh, namely, if you look here, what do we have? Oh, a bunch of Lua. I spent about the last month or so doing a pretty heavy Lua integration. Um, the way this works, I guess I should put some slides up or something like that, uh, so is that the main objects in the game, um, one is the game itself, um, they have a Lua binder, so this is the game Lua binder, and this registers the kind of the table which will become the class kind of. Lua's got a kind of a, a funky sort of table, meta table way of, of doing uh, object oriented programming. But anyway, at the end of the day, I have it here so that I can extend the game in Lua and put a bunch of code in here. So you can see here, this, this runs the level. It's, uh, you know, make a bleep, make another bleep make an enemy, and make the safe house. That's the goal state. And then we have a little state checking here. So this I just added this little function here, check goal state, count stuff, sees if you win or lose. And um, now everything's being, most everything's being driven from Lua now. It took a long time. It doesn't look different on the surface, but a lot's happening behind the scenes. So here's the game. So here's a, here's a little bleep here. Here's another one here. And this is an enemy, and the enemy's trying to get the bleep, and he's really close to getting the bleep. And we just gotta get both into the goal. One's in the goal. Now the other one. Ah, we won. Awesome. But you can see, even rerun it. I don't have a reset button on the game. You can see here that if I make a mistake, got some bad pathing right there. Oh, we got one of my bleeps. There's no way I can win the game now. Gotta try to get the guy away. But oh, I lost. Oh, so anyway, I went from you know nothing to a playable game here and. Right now, one of the big things I need to do is um, add a little bit of more of uh, physics definition in from Lua so that the, the game object defined in Lua can say, I am a this type of object of this type of size, and then also be able to say, I need this model, I need to use this model and this texture. And right now I have it so that they can kind of declare the texture they want to use, but it just, you know, your game scenarios get a lot more complicated than that, so I need to kind of uh, design that little bit out. So, um, yeah, being able to model, being able to make this. You know, right now this that's that shouldn't move. You know, that's <laughs> um, that's supposed to be a, a static goal state right there. So yeah, I, I just need to make a lot more of that configurable, and then obviously need to add a, a menu here to retry and um, load different levels and all that. So that'll be some of the next stuff that we're gonna do. Um, but uh, before I get too far into the configurable stuff, we also need to be able to add some stuff that you can pick up out on the field, so I can put you know an enemy over. We're making an invisible path here. Um, I have it so that you can configure to show indicators for things on and off. So you want to see them for your characters, but not for others. Um, I'm just going to rerun this real quick, just so you can see it one more time. But I need it so that we need we can run this guy. Say run him back here to get something that we need, while this other guy goes over here. And so we say, okay, bleep, get away, and then we'll try to get around here. We'll go around this way. So right now the enemy, oh, he couldn't get him. Now he's coming around. See, this is my my uh, direct line of sight AI. Just chases directly after you wherever you go. Ah, oh, we foiled him with the wall. So we'll see if we can get through here. Oh no, he doesn't have enough power to get there that way. So he's gonna turn. So I, I also wrote a little bit of uh, code up that kind of torques the character. You know, there's instead of using an axis line bounding box, I'm using a regular box. I oh, hope he doesn't fall in the pit. Okay, good. And so I have it so that the character themselves is going to, you can see he's got kind of these little eyes, so I can kind of see the forward direction. Um, but I want it so they didn't, they didn't torque, the, or they uh, didn't just slide around randomly. I wanted them so they actually had to turn and then move forward. And so I added support for that end. But it looks like we're going to, oh no, that's my bug. Ah, I have to fix that. <laughs> I guess I can't win the game after all. But anyway, so yeah, it's um, it's fun. One of the big things I wanted to get to was to get just a real, a playable goal state, you know, make it so that this happens. You win, you lose. And uh, then start adding the items and things like that. 
and um, I'm actually I'm super excited to get this game onto a tablet because I think this game is going to be phenomenal on all the new Android tablets and you know obviously the iPad and iPad 2 and all those so I'm I'm pretty excited about that and also I can't wait to see it with animated characters running around and shooting at each other and doing all the things that the characters will do so anyway uh, yeah leave comments for what you think or I don't know not too many people are watching these dev videos right now but those of you who are um, yeah uh, I'm, the, the Lua integration stuff is just awesome so I highly recommend learning how to do it. Takes, there's a little learning curve to it, but once you have it right now, I've just been, just today I was just, you know, cranking stuff out in here, getting things working, and um, yeah, it's really cool. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you again soon.